Hi guys, it's been a whopping 10 months since the last Paludarium Ecosphere update. Let's change that. This Paludarium is about 16 months old now. After all this time, the silicone sealant degraded in some places, and at some spots a connection to the outside world got dangerously close. So I fixed it. Now there's a fresh new seal on the outside, all around. Let's go over here. Swoop. This feels sorta of like a roller coaster ride, doesn't it? You wouldn't want this to happen. Let's take a look at the aquarium part first. Here we see cryptos. When they were initially planted they lost all their leaves, which can happen, but now they're looking good. So if you ever buy cryptos and they appear to have died, don't worry. By now you guys might be used to the fact that the amount of algae on the glass of ecospheres constantly changes. It's quite clear now and we can see the terrarium through the aquarium, which is kinda cool. On the other side the glass is clear too, but there's a lot of hair algae growing and some other green stuff growing on top of that. If we look from the top we can see some duckweed, some grey stuff and we can take a better look at the green algae sludge soup. Hold on, did I just say duckweed? Yeah I did. This is without a doubt duckweed. Did I put it in here? No. Did we see it in any of the previous updates? No. Do I know why it decided to grow now? No. Hotel? No. Can you see the copper part? There it is, little copper part. Oh hey! Wait, they didn't like this the first time. But the second time, I said they didn't like it the first time. And they said they did like it. Uh, hey! Springtails! There's a very active and lively and cool springtail colony in the Pelodarium, and I just love them so much. The most dominant animal species in the aquarium part of this Pelodarium is definitely the aquatic isopod, Acellus aquaticus. They are absolutely thriving in this ecosystem. The relatively low numbers of small crustaceans in the water might have something to do with the abundance of these isopods, although that's not something I observed in the spring ecosphere. Oh well, it doesn't really matter. These little animals like to eat just about anything they can find. Oh look, this one defecated. How cute. Here's some of that mysterious grey stuff. I can only guess at what this is. Could they be air bubbles? Maybe, but it doesn't look like it. Could it be an island of the dead bodies of a small crustacean? Could be. Let's not ignore the giant elephant in the room the plants in this glass box. The Creeping Charlie, which I incorrectly called strawberries in the previous video, have grown out of the terrarium part, crossed over the aquarium part and grew their roots in the small elevated terrarium part. You've seen it this far. From there they spread along the entire edge of the paludarium and reached the terrarium part again. A lot of them also grew in the water, which obviously didn't end too well for them. It didn't end too bad for them either though. Pretty much all the roots are still there, as well as the runners. All the big stems and leaves rotted away, but tiny new leaves are growing as well. Which seems like a weird strategy, but no judgement here. But just look at this, growing above water, going underwater, doing a little more growing, coming out of the water, and then you're stuck. What's the point? You might also know Creepy Charlie as Ground Ivy, Gill Over the Ground, Ill Hoof, Tun Hoof, Cat's Food, Field Balms, 
and runaway robin. Look at those roots. Those are big roots. The spider plants are still doing quite well. Because of all the moisture and algae, it's quite hard to film though. I mean, just look at those roots. Wow! 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 This green thing is a plant that I don't remember planting or ever seeing in this paludarium before. I'm not really sure what it is, but it's cool that it's growing in here. This is going to be very difficult to see, but the wild strawberry is still present. By now there's actually quite some moss growing in here. Under all this soil, a little plant has sprouted. It's getting enough light standing next to a window. How many times has a young sproutling grown in the small space between two glass panels? I bet it's not exactly 2315 times. That would be weird. Here's a better view of the other spider plant. This is a blade of grass. There's actually grass growing all around the paludarium. It's not a lot, but it's nicely spread. Let's also take a quick look at what's living on the underside of the cover glass. Here we have an Anchitraeus worm at 15 times magnification, and here it is at 45 times magnification. If you look closely, you might be able to see a few tiny creatures buzzing around. I was surprised to find not a few, but quite a lot of mites. Well, I guess that's about it for the 16 month update on the part aquarium, part terrarium, close paludarium ecosystem. Thanks for watching and good time! It's not a lot, but it's nicely... <laughs>